Hello everyone. So this seems to be the only videos I do. Um, but I did the fill a bag sale yesterday. Um, as you know, if you watched any of these before, I um, there's a local uh, dress for success that does a inventory clear out like three times a year. That's a fundraiser. So basically, they did up their prices. Um, they give you a that was 20 it used to be that the first bag used to be $30 and then every bag was 20 after that um, you get a half an hour to shop so it is a bit chaotic because um, you're just digging through bins they're based or boxes they're based on size and item type um, but there's a lot you're just kind of like you can't look anything up or anything you don't have time to do that so I ended up getting 43 things plus, if you can see the Bombas right, right back there, along with that soap. Those were, because I RSVP'd ahead of time, um, they give you those. And then in my bag, I don't think you'll even be able to find this right now, but there are, um, each bag they put like a little thing of jewelry. So sometimes, a lot of times it's costume jewelry, but once in a while... You can get something good. So um, that's not included in this. So there's about 43 things. I think I'm going to keep a few of them. So we'll say there's about 40, um, which uh, items they sell about. Um, so we'll say it's about $1.50 an item. So we'll just kind of go through quickly. Um, like I said, you have to go through also um, go through kind of quickly and not look up things. Um, also there is, I went on the last time slot of the first day, so the two day thing, and I'm not sure how much they really restock between, they put a few more boxes out, but I think they were running out of a lot of stuff. So it's not nearly as good as sometimes, um, but it's not bad. Uh, cause usually I get a ton of Eloquy plus size. I have a few things, but it's not nearly as much as normal, at least and that usually, if I can sell that, even if I can sell the things that I bought or got for Eloquy, that will pay for probably the whole thing. So, all right, so we'll start up here. Um, this is a Levi's um, jacket, uh, army green. Underneath the sleeve there, I might keep that as just a Victoria's Secret new with tags makeup bag. Um, and then I've actually sold this before. This is something they gave for free a few years ago. Um, it's a new, it's got like the plastic wrap on the handle still, uh, the, um, it's jewel, which is a 31, um, subsidiary, I guess company. Um, but it is a purse. I think I sold that for like around 25 ish last time I sold that. This is a, oh my gosh, I can't remember something in Johnny Frankie and Johnny purse. Really not worth anything. It's most of the comps were like fifteen dollars, but that's all right. This is a just fab, um, new with tags purse. I just thought it was cute. I don't think it'll sell for a lot, but this is a need some love, uh, Bond Street leather. Um, I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Uh, messenger bag. Um, this is a cashmere blend. Harvey, Harvey Bernard. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Blazer. Um, these are two belts here. It is a Chico's belt and a Jacqueline Ferrer um, belt. Um, this actually is surprising. It's a, um, I don't remember the brand, but it is a made in Italy, um, hat, winter hat. Um, and that actually was anywhere between 20 and $45 people had it listed for. Pretty sure this had his handmade, so I don't know. We'll see how we'll do with that. But these are Torrid boots. Usually, I can do okay with those. Sell them for around thirty-ish. Um, this is an Eloquy dress. None of this is new with tags. Sometimes I'll get Eloquy with new with tags. These are not. It's a long black dress. Um, I don't know. It was like size twenty, I think, somewhere around there, twenty twenty-two. These pants here um, are in the mid 20s for um, also Eloquy. These are Eloquy shorts. 
And this, I think, you can't see it too well, but is an Eloquy, I think it's a faux leather coat, but it might be a dress. I'm pretty sure it's like a coat blazer, but it's like full length. Um, that probably actually will do okay. This is a cute for summer Caslon top, really lightweight. This is a lost April blazer here. Um, that, I mean, it retails for like maybe 80 or $90, but the resale wasn't great when I looked it up. Um, here is a, you can see 12, but a J. Crew factory um, blouse, polka dots. Lauren, well, Ralph Lauren, I think this might be okay. A sweater with like the big buttons. Um, it's kind of a blazer sweater. This is a Max Jeans, um, kind of a lightweight jacket. Joa blouse. I might try this one on. This is a loft top. There is a lot of J. Jill in here. Um, I think I skipped over these. These are J. Jill linen cropped pants here. These are Chico's. I've been able to say Chico's okay. So those will probably uh, sell for around 20-ish. Size 2, which is like a... I think it's like a large-ish, extra large. Um, this is a J. Crew silk sleeveless top. We already talked about that. No name tops. I'll have to see if that fits. It just felt nice, but I couldn't find any um, labels or anything like that. Olive and oak. Long sleeve gray top with a little bit of a detail. Linen top by J. Jill. J. Jill sweater. This is a White House Black Market kind of dressier top. These things in here I might keep. Um, sorry for the point. It's not the best uh, setup here, but this is a, an Express um, top. Banana Republic top. And Taylor might be factory top, Caslon top, all those I might all keep. Uh, and then this dress I might try on, I'm not sure if I'll keep it, but this is also the Ann Taylor or Banana Republic. Ann Taylor, yep, Ann Taylor Petite. This is a little tank by Cabby, I've done okay with Cabby. Do not need this, but I do love polka dots. This is a, because I already have two, blue polka dot um, Tommy Hilfiger, um, kind of a sheer top. Um, we've got a Miss Me, a super cute embroidered short sleeve. This one I might try on. I don't really need more cardigans, but that is a White House Black Market with like pearl detail um, cardigan. And then... We're just going to zoom up to this one. This is a Tahari, like, zippered uh, wool blend blazer. So I think that is everything, unless I miss something in the pile. Oh, oh, I forgot this one. This is an Eileen Fisher linen. Um, it's kind of a tunic. It's a little longer than a normal top, but not quite a dress um, in a gingham print. So... I'd say if I can sell the Eileen Fisher and the Eloquy, this is definitely paid for, and then everything else is extra. So not as good as some of the fill bags, but I still definitely can make my money back. I might take some of this to consignment. I, I do a rotation with consignment um, once a month where I um, will pick things, and basically every middle of the month, I'm taking things in because they give us a two-month consigning window. Um, and so I take them in, and then I pick up whatever's left over, just kind of my routine now. Um, so I can collect some of these, especially if I haven't listed anything yet. Usually that'll just save me some listing um, if I have some stuff that I haven't gotten to, but the consignment store might take. So um, that's been a, a nice side thing that uh, saved me a little bit of work. So, um, yeah, so that is the fill a bag for spring um if you're in the columbus area it is three times a year usually sometime in the summer and sometime like late fall they'll do it um but uh it goes quick so you have to kind of know when it's happening and they don't have this update like until like when they announced this like three weeks ago 
and within a day, all of the Saturday tickets were gone. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye.